Hey everybody, it's Gladys back here once again, and man, it's good to be back. It's been a while. I want to say it's been almost a month since my last video, and I kind of just felt like screwing around today. So this footage is from today, Easter Sunday, uh, so happy Easter. I don't know how you properly convey the holiday message there. I know, like, Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas, but what do you say for Easter? Is it just Happy Easter? I don't know. Anyways, regardless, uh, I don't celebrate it, so... Good luck finding eggs in your front yards. Um, anyways, it's been a while, and it's definitely uh, overdue for another video, so I'm happy to be back. Easter holiday season for me was very, very, very busy. Uh, I got a couple of people in my department on vacation, so trying to make up for all that, and kind of gaming just fell a little bit by the wayside. Just real life keeps getting in the way of virtual life, you know? So, um... I've been trying to stick it out and hit the last couple of FAFs uh, every Friday on the number six dance, but I couldn't make this past one, so uh, I know that's a huge letdown to me because uh, I really enjoy doing Fuck Around Fridays, but I couldn't make it on this one. I just couldn't do it. I had to go in to bake at 12 o'clock. So anyways, moving on here, we've got a lot of stuff to discuss. Um, the announcement was officially, well, they officially announced uh, Battlefield 4. Uh, for current current gen consoles and PC, uh, so far, to my knowledge, there's been no confirmation of any development for next gen. Now that's really strange to me, and somebody on Reddit had noticed that as well and said maybe it was because both consoles weren't officially announced. But even that explanation doesn't really make sense to me because PS4 was officially announced, so there would be no reason why they would hold back an announcement saying, yeah, we're developing for PS4, when there's already been so many developers that have said, we're making games, we have a list of games that's going to be released for PlayStation 4. So there would be, like, if if it was a gag order from Microsoft's end until they unveil their console, then it would make sense for them to say, sure, we're developing for PS4, but we can't give you any more details at this time for what we're doing. So I could see maybe if they wanted to withhold information in that way, but I don't see why we wouldn't be able to get a confirmation for PS4 since it has already been announced. Um, so that doesn't make much sense to me, but with the official PS4 announcement, um, lots of exciting things have been happening. We've got some new details and a lot of different stuff that's going on. So it's, uh, it's really, really looking good for PlayStation at the moment. And so far, Xbox it hasn't really retaliated information wise you know I haven't heard much uh, definitely no details about their console that they're working on but I haven't heard really much from them in quite some time so uh, me being a Sony fanboy through and through I'm I'm not worried in the least I'm absolutely 100% happy with uh, the information that's been released for PlayStation 4 so far however I don't wish like I, I, I have no ill will towards Microsoft I just I think they make an inferior product um, so the lineup for PS4 release games is looking pretty sweet as well. There's this one in particular that I'm really interested in called uh, Watch Dogs. I don't know if you guys have any idea about that, but it looks spectacular. And gameplay-wise, it's extremely open-ended, which is very cool to me because I like RPGs and stuff like that too as well. So um, if you can, you know, manipulate the environment and do all that stuff, and I'm sure there's going to be some type of leveling system or whatever. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be very cool, and kind of the things that you can do, the, the the ways that you can alter the environment around you, look very 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 cool. Um, I'm trying to think of what else here. I didn't write any notes. Normally, when I do a bullshit episode, I write notes on just information that I want to hit, but I didn't write any now because I was just kind of excited to be back. So, uh, without anything to go on, let me just hit what's on the top of my mind right now. Uh, I kind of unintentionally went, or was taken to, a gay bar last night. <laughs> so that was uh, that was an experience. I think uh, when I, when I walked in, I couldn't really tell right away, other than well, the name of the place was G Bar. But <laughs> aside from that, like okay, I was like, eh, this is definitely a gay bar. But we walk in there, and I get a drink from the bartender, who's like super buff. And, like, just really intimidating how big this guy was. I was like, god damn. So I get a beer from him, and, you know, I'm just kind of hanging out. My wife is there. I've got a couple friends. And, you know, my wife and I are just kind of like, okay, let's just find a secluded corner and 
<laughs> you know, just do our own thing over there. I have nothing against gay people in any way, shape, or form. I absolutely don't care. Do whatever you want that makes you happy. Um, but I was just, like, really out of my element. And, like I said, I was really unintentionally brought there from the, my group of friends that we went with. So, um, a couple beers in, and, you know, I'm starting to move a little bit to the music. <laughs> and, like, all of a sudden, as if, like, on cue that I missed, like... These five or six guys stand up on the bar, and they've got nothing but these, like, small, tight little underwear pieces on, and it's like, okay, when did it get gay in here? <laughs> we made that joke because it's like, everything was pretty normal, you know? It just seemed like a bar that was a little uh, better decorated <laughs> than other bars that we've been in. But, um, yeah, all of a sudden, man, it's just like swinging man meat up on stage, and I was like, oh, God. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here pretty soon. <laughs> it's, it's like I said, i got no problem with gay people, whatever. But, um, you know, that's that's just that's not what I signed up for. You know, I just wanted to get a couple drinks. Um, so anyways, that was pretty funny. We got out of there. And, it, and at one point, a uh, buddy of mine who's actually been referred to as, like, my twin. I, I, we tell everybody that we're brothers now because we look similar. Um, he said something. I don't remember what. And then he said, no homo. And I was like, shut the fuck up. What are you doing? We're in a gay bar. There's homo everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, regardless of the potentially awkward situation and the first time experience for me of something like that, uh, I didn't have a terrible time. It was just uh, just me out of my element. So I thought that was a pretty funny story uh, and definitely, definitely interesting <laughs> because that's just not something that I would have seen myself doing. So, anyways, um, let's see what I'm playing currently. I just bought the new Tomb Raider um, not too long ago. I played a bit of that, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Like the the story of it's very cool, and it, it's a beautiful game. Uh, some of the gameplay mechanics are really fun too. I really like archery and the uh, the physics models when you actually shoot a guy with your bow and arrow. It looks really freaking sweet. I shot a guy in the throat, and he was like, Aah. so um, obviously that doesn't sound or obviously you can't see how sweet that looks but man that's gratifying uh also i just wasn't aware that laura croft was a mass murderer because even just at the beginning of the game like i've killed a couple dozen people already just with, like no remorse just people dead everywhere all over this island um so i'm not going to spoil any information on that but basically laura croft turns into like the terminator with a bow and arrow um, so that's pretty fun. I'm going to get back into the swing of uh, making new videos here again uh, shortly. I think now that Easter's over, it's going to be quite some time before we hit our next holiday season and I get really busy at work. So I should have some spare time enough. And let me just point out in this. Okay, I'm looking down at Charlie. I'm like, okay, this is safe. And then boom, Blue Dot gets gunned down. I said, oh, forget that. I'm going around. Um, I was laughing as that happened. I was like, whoa, whoa now, whoa, I don't want to go that way. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to be back into the into the swing of making new videos, and we'll be doing more stuff on Dust. Of course, we're actually getting a update. I want to say it's on April 6th. I'm not sure of the exact date now off the top of my head, but it's coming soon in the next week. Uh, Dust is getting an update, which will have a lot of different improvements, but it's going to include a big graphical update. So this game is going to look better, which that's very exciting. I mean, how often do you play a game and they're like, oh, here, let us just make the game look better for free? So that's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. And uh, Dust is always going to be something that I can go back to and be happy playing because it's just so immersive. And You know, I've talked a lot about that in a couple different videos, whatever. But uh, we'll get back into doing the bullshit episodes, battle chats. Um, and then I'm, I'm also doing the live streaming for the Fuck Around Fridays. And I'm sort of getting a list of things together of things that I want to do during FAF. For example, if I get killed by certain people or get my tags taken by certain people, I have to do a shot. Um, so it's going to turn into like a drinking game and that's going to be really interesting. So I'm going to close off this video uh, getting my tags taken by Link. So I tip my hat to you, sir. You're an asshole, but congratulations, you got my tag. So that's going to about do it for this episode of This Is Bullshit. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you add us on Facebook. The link is in the description. And take care. We will see you guys on the battlefield. Bye.